Hi Scorpio and Scorpio's person. It's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And this is going to be a reading on Scorpio's person, whoever that lucky person is, right? This is going to be behind the scenes on your person, Scorpio, okay? So once again, we have tapped their phones and we've been hanging out, you know, behind the bush, right? Yeah, we have, just to kind of like get the low down on them and the skinny, right? Because we know that they've been uh, potentially trying to keep everything on the low down. Yes, they have. <laughs> but we don't know that for sure. We're going to find out right now uh, as we get into the reading. And let's see uh, your person. Let's see what your person's energy is. The bottom of the deck is the false person, okay? Now, this is the Fiend de Cicle. We're going to put some cards out. Message. Poverty, official person, and adjudication. Wow. So maybe, you know, uh, your person's going to be either sending you a message. Maybe they're going to be getting one. You could be, your person could be this official person. And what I mean by that is they could be a policeman, postman, uh, fireman, uh, military person. It doesn't really matter. Or they could simply be a controlling person. The official person is the person who kind of thinks that they could run the show at all times, right? Mm-hmm. We know there are people like that. Yes, we know that. <laughs> and I feel like you could be, right now, uh, Scorpio, your relationship could be, like, emotionally bankrupt. This poverty card is showing up. It could This could be talking about finances as well. And there could be a court case, maybe adjudication showing up. This is about court, typically. It could be about child support. It could be about some type of a fine. But these are your person's cards. Let's continue to put the cards out. Why not? Message of concern and message. Wow. Unexpected income. Somebody, your person is getting some unexpected income. Maybe they're waiting for some uh, severance pay or settlement. It's just going to depend. Maybe it's through court, adjudication. Wow. And the great fortune card. Maybe your person is selling property. Who knows? But I feel like it looks like... What I mean is that it looks like they are uh, coming into some money. Yes, they are. We'll get one last card. Occupation. Okay, so your person, to me, is getting some money from their job. They're getting some type of a payment. Mm -hmm. Let's see right now. Right now, your person, the energy they're in is in the King of Wands. Ace of Wands is crossing them. Your person could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, or they're dealing with one. The High Priestess is in their past. This is you, Scorpio, most likely. Crowning their thoughts is the Queen of Wands in the reverse. In the near future is the Page of Wands. This is your person's reading. They look like they're walking away from somebody. The Tower is their fear. Or emotional concerns. If it's the tower, it's a fear, right? Yeah, it's not just an emotional concern. <laughs> the fool is in their environment. And what they really want is the king of pentacles. So you could be dealing with this king of pentacles person or a fire sign. But to me, it already looks like third party with the false person at the bottom of the deck and the tower. Let's see why they're in the king of wands energy. This is Scorpio's person. Nine of Swords, your person has some fears about a fire sign. Queen of Swords, to me they're trying to fight their fears here. Mm -hmm. They're discerning a matter. They could be kind of discerning a situation about a fire sign where they're, like, they're worried something's not going to go right, something like that. And the Page of Wands is crossing them. Why is that Page of Wands there? The Hermit. I feel like this is your person, Scorpio, this Virgo. Mm -hmm. They have the, the Ace of Wands and they have the Five of Wands. In this deck, this is like laying down the competition. They're all sitting on the ground except the victor. I feel like what this means is that your person here is trying to figure out here and wondering if they could have a new beginning with the fire sign. Either that or they are a fire sign. They're trying to figure out if they can have a new beginning. That's clear, but they have some fears. 
whether or not, you know, who the players are. And the Ten of Pentacles is the root for them, why it's all happening. Justice. Six of Swords in the reverse. Wow. To me, it looks like somebody's going back to a marriage or they're getting a divorce. It's that simple. Because this is a union here, like a marriage or a long-term union, Ten of Pentacles and Justice. It really looks like a marriage. And here's the Six of Swords in the reverse. You could be married to this person, Scorpio, and they're thinking of going back there. They have some fears about returning to somebody. Maybe this is uh, about returning to you. It doesn't look like that in the reading, but let's see. Sorry, you guys. Let's see what we have here for Scorpio's person. And my cop drops are showing up over here. <laughs> It's not part of the reading, is it? Let's move the camera just a tiny bit here. You guys can see the cards better. I feel like they are too. Yeah, the camera is too much to the right. Let's see what we have. I feel like in the past, and this Six of Swords in the, in the reverse could be frustration. They could be frustrated, maybe. The High Priestess is in the past, in the recent past. Death card, wow. Two of Wands. It looks like there was an ending in the past, uh, maybe with a secret or with you. Because this High Priestess, I feel like it's you, but it could be a secret. And crowning their thoughts is the Queen of Wands in the reverse. I feel like your person could be this King of Pentacles who is, like, has some type of a third party Queen of Wands person, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Your person can, I feel like they're carrying this burden here. I feel like they want to drop a burden here, but I feel like they're carrying a burden here about maybe this Queen of Wands might have moved on. Because the Eight of Swords is here in the reverse, and this is cutting ties. Why is it Eight of Swords in the reverse? Like, maybe they're dealing with somebody that that they were a burden to, and they could be thinking that uh, this person might have already moved on, or this person just feels like they're a huge burden. It could be either way. Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. So they want this new beginning with a... They either are the Queen of Wands, or they want a new beginning with the Queen of Wands. This is how this looks in love. The Page of Wands is in the near future. And remember... Uh, the word, the adjudication card is here. Justice is here. Adjudication is typically court. You can see the judge with his ridiculous, uh, you know, wig on from way back in the day. He is handing down some type of a sentence or to these two people, or he is giving out child support orders, or you know, uh, Granting a divorce, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's not usually that great, the adjudication card. It is not typically a good card. No, it's not. And maybe they're going to be uh, communicating with you because I have the message and the message of concern. This person, whoever you're dealing with, Scorpio, whoever your person is, I'm not sure if you live with them or not, but they could be, if you don't, you could be getting a message like a message from them. And this person could be get, get, getting some money related to the house, the sale of a house, or they could also be getting money from their occupation, like from their job. Unexpected income, house, great fortune, and occupation, all next to each other. So in the near future for them is the Page of Wands. The Three of Wands and the Five of Swords. Well, they look like they're walking away from somebody because the Page of Wands in this deck is that, as is the Three of Wands in this deck. This man's letting this bird go. It's like he's granting somebody their freedom. This could be, they could be doing this to themselves. Five of 
Five of Swords. This is third party energy, especially next to the Three of Wands. I feel like your person has some, uh, this, is, this can be chaos and conflict over here for them. And it is sometimes just mean energy. And I feel like if you see the guy on the card, that he's not a nice guy. No, he's not. Why is the Five of Swords there? I feel like this is, could be manipulation and kind of mind games. Why is that Five of Swords there? And this could be like leaving somebody kind of in a mean way. Because this person is kind of like one... Won this uh, battle here between like this kind of sword fight with these few people, but he is, it's supposed to be a war, right? They're like warriors, but he is like kind of laughing and I just think this is about like leaving somebody in a mean way. Like, oh, like kind of like I won, kind of like, yeah, I felt like there was manipulation in the past here or some kind of. Uh, super like chaos and conflict and mind games, four of wands. I feel like your person's walking away from the situation. I feel like they have some fear though. Wow, queen of cups here in the near future. This could be you having fear here. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is your person walking away from you, Scorpio, but I feel like they are walking away with fear. Mm -hmm. This could be saying they're walking walking away to be with a secret. It's a possibility with the moon because the moon is all about things that are in the dark. Mm -hmm. And the tower is what they fear or emotionally concerned about. Page of Swords in the reverse. Six of Pentacles. I feel like what they're fearing here is they know when the tower comes down that they're going to lose money here. Or, oh, I see. Yeah. So they know that they know here that this tower ending, like they know there's going to be a tower. That's all that is. Like they're fearing this tower. Yeah, they're fearing the tower is going to fall. Mm-hmm. Like it's going to be like a big shakeup. I because I feel like this is talking about an ending, right? In the recent past, we see the death card and the two of wands. Could be a transformation with a secret. Whatever this was, I feel like I feel like what this was in the past was. An ending and a transformation. I feel like you're, you're over here, Pisces, and this person they want to move forward with, I mean not Pisces, a Scorpio, sorry. The person they want to move forward with is the Two of Wands. Because in this deck, these are two people moving forward together. It is not the typical Two of Wands. Why do they have the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, they're just fearing here. They could be fearing they're going to get their fair share in money. They look like they're going to get a whole bunch of money with these uh, fin de cicle. This is their emotional concern. I feel like the three of pentacles and the knight of wands. Oh, I, I'm getting this. Yeah, they feel like this is their fears here. That once the tower falls with you, like an ending, are they going to be able to have a give and take relationship with this person? That's what they're fearing. Yes. And they could also be fearing here that all the sneakiness they did behind the scenes or whatever they did uh, that was kind of underhanded, like they had you and they had this other person. This person will not deal with their, like they're not going to put up, they're not going to want to be with them because they were like, Sneaky in the past. Page of Swords in the reverse could be somebody who's doing things that are, you know, behind the scenes or underhanded. And the fool's in their environment. Why is that fool there? Seven of Wands. Page of Cups. They're just fearing they can't have like a new start with this person. Yeah, they are. 
It could be fearing it's going to be super overwhelming. Yeah, because this is an ending and a new beginning. Why is the Page of Cups there? They're trying to have a new beginning with somebody. Yeah, I mean, to me that is clear. Seven of Pentacles. This is in their environment. I feel like this, they're walking away here. This is walking away, if you guys can see this card. And this is in their environment. They're walking away, but they're really overwhelmed. And they feel like they <clears throat> kind of have to fight to do this. Yeah. And the King of Pentacles is what they want. I feel like they are the King of Pentacles. Why do they want that? Two of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is this is clear, Scorpio. I feel like they want this Two of Cups, and uh, they're leaving somebody out here. <clears throat> At the same time, yeah, they want to be with somebody here, this soulmate person. This person could be, looks like it is uh, a fire sign that they want to be with. It could be vice versa. They could be wanting a King of Pentacles. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is dealing with a fire sign, and they want to leave somebody out here. Mm -hmm. I feel like they want an ending and they want to break up. We're going to find out over there. We're going to confirm, or we're going to go much deeper about it over there on Vimeo. Yes, we are. That's where the tell-all lives, and we're going to talk about how they really feel about you, the challenges or the blocks. We're going to talk about what they would want to say to you. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about what they're hiding, Scorpio, what they're fearing, and what they really want on Vimeo. And we're going to have the YouTube outcome, right? I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has been, like, you know, a player or sneaky, something like that. And all the extended readings are super affordable, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.